I do wonder if we're going to pull in this video. Oh, 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 we got some gold. Who is coming through the portal? Is it an animation of grass? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's funny, I don't even want this champion to play with them. What's going on, you Realm Watchers? It is gold time. This is Mortal Might with another Watcher of Realms video. We saw the first video today. We saw the results. Come on through, Ellen. Be Ellen. Who we got? We pulled gold, but we didn't pull great. But now, we're gonna give it one more shot for the weekend. I figured I'd knock out my opportunities on Friday, get them done, because I got more content to make for you guys this week. But. I got to re-up just to make sure we're set. Here's what we ended up with here. Enough to make it work. Don't have any divines though. Would like to have those. But you know who we're looking for. We're looking for somebody green, somebody amazing on the account. Let's see who we end up pulling up, shall we? I think we shall. We're looking for some gold, but we're looking for some green to match it, right? <laughs> oh. We're off to a good start, as the boy Hell Hades would say, praise the Gumpa. <laughs> it's a good sign of good summons to come, I guess. I would assume. <laughs> Another quest, my liege. I will say, oh, good, it's rare. It works. Rare rebate. I will say, if you think you may know who the champion is that we're going to end up getting, put it in the comments before they pop up. Or what champion would you be most happy to get? Um, even if it's not Elowen for this banner, is there anybody? I mean, anybody. Uh, ooh, another rare rebate, nice. Is there anybody out there that would be happy if they got an eye? I haven't heard anybody yet, but I would love to know. And I would love to know why or where you'd like to use them. <laughs> Y'all know what happened to him. <laughs> he got, he got, he got recalled, and now he's getting rebated. I am happy that I'm getting a couple rebates in there, so that's more gems back. That ain't a bad thing. I mean, that's kind of a good thing too. But let's get some ten pulls going. Let's see if we can get some glass on the bottom of the screen. I think it's about time. And you guys notice I went straight into the pulls today. I was like, let's make it work. I want to see what we end up getting out of here. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, we got some purple. Purple means something nice. It's in the background. Let's see if we get something I don't have awakened. I think most of the stuff I have is awakened in the game already. I got those two awakened. And Lily, like I said before, was the very first champion that I a 5 in the game. So those are good because those are all awakened credits. And I got two rare rebates in there too. I'll take it. Next 10. Ooh, another epic pull. Let's see if we get, we need a little more yellow in that pool. Oh, you know what I got to do. I got to hook it up. Let's see. Let's see. You guys know what I like to, like to do here. They're all connected. Boom. Let's put that bad boy a little bit on the gold. Yeah, that's about right. That's as close as we can get to gold. Let's make it work. <laughs> Next 10, we got 60. It looks like another seven um, after this pull, which is pretty cool. More epic, so it means we're on the right path. Now, I will say, I may not be upset if I, if I get an Anai instead of an Elowin, instead of an Elowin, but I would prefer an Elowin. I prefer a new champion that I know that I can do some stuff with and I have an idea of where I'm gonna use them. I don't think that I'd have a good idea of where I wanna use Anai if I get her. I do like how all these temples, a lot of purple is showing up. I'm a fan of that. Give me some of those rare ones. Well, Hollow is a rare one. I have a Max Awakened, same with Harpoon. Hollow is my great alternative to Elowen. She has really great rage regen. She has pretty decent heals and not groundbreakingly amazing, but they're useful. Every time she's awaking, um, her heals become more beneficial with rage regen. So at A1, she restores 1% healing cap on champions when she heals them, which is nice because she's always doing it. And when she does her ult, she can heal two champions at once. So it's a nice option. But even while she's doing her ult, she's given Rage Regen, so you know that already. At uh, Awaken 3, Rage Cap is reduced by 100, which means she gets her ability even sooner, which is nice. But number five is very misunderstood. So this is called um, Awaken 5. Each, each cast of Light of Bliss increases the efficiency of accumulating Rage by 15% until the battle ends up to five stacks. 
This is wonderful for her because it means that she can keep up with the pace of some of those battles that start speeding along. For example, the guild boss. If you don't have the right amount of rage in your team, sometimes your champs ults, especially like esoterics that have really high costs for the most part, their ults won't be ready. You're gonna be in a rough spot. So we don't want you to be in that spot. Hollow's a really good solution for that. If you have champions that have really long ults and they can't start charging it up quickly, you, you can pop her ult while they're using their ult and they'll start rage regening into the next area, which I think is nice. I think that's awesome. Hollow's a really good solution. I found out about that last part, I think like yesterday. So that's cool to know. That's cool to know. Hollow's a really good choice. All right, we got, oh, yep, there we go. The one's on the side there. Let's go ahead and make these happen. 47, let's go. Ooh, we got a tax. Let's see if we get some rebates with this tax because we like to have those if we're doing taxes. <laughs> now one, two, three. I'll take it, cool. Next up, let's give it a go. More purple, more purple. We like to have the purple. We want the gold, but purple is good to get. It's consistent. Ooh, first two, three, okay. I need y'all all to come together and become something gold, though. <laughs> I will tell you guys, do not sleep on Brienne. Uh, right now, I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have a general idea of how she works. When I tell y'all, she is clutch in this new arena mode that's going on right now. Her ultimate, especially even her regular attack, it does additional damage to airborne units to take an extra hit. She is putting out major damage in this content, especially if you book her with somebody like a Pierce Allure, like a um, Lunaria or like a Aracha. She does really good damage in Arena. So do not sleep on her. If you're thinking that, oh, she's one of the starter champs I get, she's easy to get, I kid you not. She's one of the best champs I have on my factions right now. And I'm actually in Overlord for the first time on my account. I never really pushed for Arena. But I went for Overlord. I just gave it a shot now because the new arena is out. People are still getting used to it. So I took advantage and really dove in there. Um, there's some stuff that isn't perfect in it, but I will say Brienne's been pulling me through pretty well. I have a couple of other ones like Silas, you know, and of course every team, if you do not have an Eidreal on your team, you might as well count it as a loss because two, th two of them will slip by and soak with this is going to click your base. I'm sorry to hear it. I'm sorry to tell you that's going to happen. <laughs> it occurs. Next, we got another rare tax going on. So you get some rebates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, that's not a bad pull to me. That's a bunch of that's a bunch of gems I get back that I can put to work. All right, next ten. What do we got? Oof. Oh, I've gotten to there. <laughs> so I'll dismiss this group here because I didn't plan on using any of those rares that I pulled. Nine hundred. Well, that's right in the books. Also. Just a little bit. Just a little bit is wise to do that. That's probably gonna finish Corridor of Glory for me if I'm gonna check, just to make sure. Let's make sure, just to see. I'll finish this in the first day. Oh, not yet, almost there. 9,200, 800 left to go. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get that in a few moments, especially when Elwin comes through. You did. Ah, epic again. They're gonna make me go into the gems. It's all good though, let's make it work. Give me an epic I don't have or one that's really hard to find. Well, got Brienne. Aaron, Sorosis, Cute. You guys know what they do. All right, good. got some rare rebates there. Mm, I think I might do a couple of 10 pulls with the gems just to make sure. You know, you never know. Elo might just be waiting behind those. <laughs> Can you tell I enjoy doing, the, doing like the, the pulls in this game? Um, I do like that the, the one benefit of tabs, nine out of 10. Ooh, that would have been perfect. I think there's an achievement for that. And see the uncommons are for rares. I mean, hopefully it's for rares because I don't want to get an uncommon achievement. Ah, mm. It didn't change colors, ladies and gents. At least these guys are coming out as blue. Okay, cool. All right, I probably will do another two and I'm gonna save the gems from the other guys that I end up um, rebating. But let's see if we get some green in here. Man, these guys, this, these Legos are chilling. They said what 10X? They are chilling. <laughs> in the cut behind the portal. I'm gonna need a redemption story after this one. We're gonna make it work though. Do I have enough for another temple? I think so. Yeah, I do. And do I have enough space for another temple? I do. The last temple, I think it's the last one. 
It's another epic pull. Let's see who comes out. Come on with the goodness. AI, one of the most un, one of the most misunderstood epics in this game. Let's be real. AI is a freaking powerhouse of a champion. Especially as you get her more awakened and her freezes last even longer. She teams up really nice with Boreas and um in Guild War 1, not Guild War, Guild Raid 1, she's insanely good in that. She's also really good in Arena. There used to be a bug where she could block champions, block enemies from even coming into Arena. They patched that, I'm glad they did because they needed to. But um, also I believe it's in the promotions for the mages, she's insanely good in there too. She literally could just block the entire area up in that area with ice. And if her damage is high enough, she could basically solo that area. It's, it's pretty daggum cool, especially when you get her awakened. If you can get her awakened, I highly recommend you do. Mm, you know what? I'll burn some of the gems just to see what we can do with that. If that takes it to 880, it does. That takes it to 880, then I'll put the last 10 in there to see what we can do. I do have seven after that, but we'll see. I'll go with these seven first. Something about the singles. I want to see if the singles pull the color in the background here. <laughs> I do wonder if we're gonna pull in this video. I do hope so. Oh, 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 we got some gold. Who is coming through the portal? Is it an animation of grass? I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. I wanted this champion and that's funny, I don't even want this champion to play with them. I want them because they put the pep in the step. You guys don't understand how much I wanted this champion. I thought when the last banner went on, I went all out with everything that I had in the account. So, come on! Yes! Yes! And she's a powerhouse as well and very, very easy to build. Let me show you. We got it. We got it. I feel like that Law and Order thing where like Olivia's sitting over the laptop, she's like, we got it. <laughs> Vienna, welcome to the team. Glad to have you. Get yourself, make yourself comfortable. Your man's been over here as A3. Yes, I put four silences. I put one silence. I pulled two more silences during the Vienna banner, trying to get Vienna. And then when I got the triple 18 in the gear raids one, two, and three, I pulled another silence. So my silence is A3. He been waiting. He been working out for the day she show up. She's here. <laughs> she is here. Welcome to the team, Vierna. I will gladly take that champion because she is awesome. I mean, freaking awesome in this game. If you don't know, you're about to know. First off, starting off with the basic talent. It applies Mortal Kiss on the target. If you don't have this champion, it's good to know what she does because she will blow your mind when you end up thinking you're doing good in the arena and she just cleans off the other enemy board. And now you're sitting here like, well, what just happened? That's what you need to know. Basic attack applies Mortal Kiss. What is Mortal Kiss? Tap it, there we go. So it lasts for eight seconds on each enemy that is summoned on. It deals AOE magic damage equal to 25% of the caster's attack to the effect of the bearer and the surrounding enemies every second. It's an AOE hit, it's not a very strong one, but it's a very continuous one, which is really nice against crowds. It's not good at killing quickly, but it's good at making sure everybody's getting some form of damage, especially if you have like some kind of an artifact that may be coming out later in the game that has some bonuses for you landing a certain amount of hits. It's a really good option. Airborne units take half the damage instead. That's the one downside to Mortal Kiss. But it's a basic attack. It just applies a debuff on them immediately. So it's nice. It's good to have. Now, let's get into the fell. Oh, it's unlocked on the right. Let's get to the ultimate. Reaper's Grasp. This has a chance to do 200% more damage, boost his threshold by 10%, increase his skill cost, uh, decrease his skill cost, not increase, good God, no. Decrease his skill cost by 100 and increase her rage by 100, which breaks it 800, 600. So she comes in almost ready to do her ultimate. Deal 700% scales to 900% AOE damage to enemies in range. That is insane freaking damage. So let's combo that with the hero details at max attack, it's at 4341, which is about average. It's not insanely amazing, but 900% damage is. <laughs> so build her with some attack. I'll say also, you'll see later on in the kit, 
attack speed does not matter on her. She does not attack faster if you put attack speed on her. So you can build her just for crit rate, crit damage, super high attack, that's all you need on her. She's dirt easy to build. That's what makes her such a, such a great champ and such a wanted champion in this game. 900, kills, enemy with, kills enemies with HP below 25% after a short delay. Now, Uridan just got added into this game. He has something similar to this, but it's like a 20% chance. But he does AOE hits, so he has a chance of doing it if he's in the right fight. But for right now, I like the consistency of it being 25, and then it could be 35. Elite monsters and bosses are excluded. But she's amazing in arena. She's amazing in anything you need a mage in. She's very reliable. You see the animation. It's, it's lovely, it's lovely. Next, soul extraction. With each enemy killed, their essence is absorbed into the staff's crystal, accumulating up to six souls. This is why she's really good with working with crowds. <laughs> Not with kids, just with crowds. Each absorbed soul increases attack by 2%. Now, if you look on the bottom, you see you can get another 6% in soul capacity increase and additional attack provided by each soul by 1%. This is what we're talking about here. So that can get up to 12 souls. It's insane. I haven't even checked her awaken yet. When, the, when there are at least two enemy targets within the basic attack range, the hero will consume one soul to increase the target count of basic attack by one which means she gets a whole bunch of kills, the next wave comes, she spreads it out on a whole bunch of other enemies and she starts doing crazy damage again. It is very awesome for this champion, it's very nice. Next up, it's important for you to know, Bone Shield. It works as like a baby heal for your champions. It lasts for eight seconds, it's a passive of hers, it has a 30 second, well, 12 second cooldown, it lasts for 30, whoa, 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 what am I seeing? I'm mixing my times up. Bone Shield lasts for eight seconds. It increases their damage reduction by 10% and um, it deals AOE magic damage equal to 10% of the caster's attack, so that's Vienna, to the effect bearer and the surrounding enemies every second. Airborne units take half the damage instead. So it's nice, it debuffs the champs, that, it debuffs the enemies around who she's casting it onto, which is dope. Applies Bone Shield to the ally with the lowest HP percentage in range. This is within the nine grid around her. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. I believe it's the nine grid. Um, the skill's cooldown is reduced by two seconds for every kill. So as she kills, she makes it to where it's difficult for them to die. She basically empowers them and makes them even better. It's, it's freaking awesome. Um, it's a cooldown of 12 seconds. So the confusion that I have is that it says 30 seconds, but then a cooldown of 12 seconds for an ability that lasts eight seconds. So obviously the duration goes up another four seconds. Um, the damage from the bone shield is another 10%. I always thought this is some kind of a heal. Maybe I'm missing that. Physical damage reduction of Bone Shield. So that's reduction that um, they get, which is resistance to damage. Okay, got it. I always thought it was some kind of a heal though. I guess I was wrong about that. Hey, good to learn. Cost is 20, still a kind of high cost. Let's check out the side bonus, which is what we really want right here. Pledge of your attain hero Silence the Blind King to unlock the special effect. There it is. Bone Shield restores extra HP by 10% attack per second. That's what I remembered. I knew it did it, I wasn't sure how it did it. Okay, let's look into the Awakens. Awaken number one, when applying Mortal Kiss, uh, magic reduction will also be applied. And look at the percentage of that, it's another 10%. It's nice, it's nice to have, it's decent to have. This champ is really stacked, I think that's pretty cool. Second one's probably gonna be attack, yep, plus 300. Third one's gonna be when Reaper's Grass kills an enemy with mortal kiss, this is the ultimate. Deal 100% magic damage to all other enemies around it. So this is why this ability is insane because there's a bunch of enemies taking that damage at once. It's insane, it's madness at A3. If you see her at A3, be careful because it's about to go even higher with damage, it's nice. A4, cost minus two, which takes her down to 18, makes her a more viable champ. But at A4, that's pretty far along. I wish that was an A2 instead of an A4, to be honest. A5, bone shield can bone shield deals double damage to enemies with mortal kiss, which is nice. I, I didn't move myself out the screen here. We got yellow, we happy, we happy. But uh, <laughs> it deals double damage, so it helps you know deal damage around her, deal damage around the champions that she's protecting, so so to speak. Now this was the reason why I said that we needed to get this guy, get this girl. Right here, Silas, not, it's not, not the Awaken, it's just it's a skill. Right here. Obtain Hero Vierna the Wraith Queen to unlock the following bonus effect. During the effect of Shadow Cloak, Shadow Cloak is the ultimate, 
Soul Sniping deals 100% extra damage. 100%! Soul Sniping is already super strong. Soul Sniping is an ability that I think that ignores. Yeah, it deals 140% damage that ignores 50% of the target's defense. So 140% damage is crazy. 100% on top of that, and you're ignoring 50% of the defense they have. His damage is insane. There's a reason why many people argue he is the best champion in the game, but you have to have Vierna involved in your team for it to be the number one champion. His damage is outrageous, and I'm about to see what he does on Arena now. Oh, 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 oh. I might have to head over to Apex Overlord, because it's about to be on. I am happy with this pull. I am happy with that pull. I will tell you that. I was thinking I was gonna get something crazy. I would have loved to get Elowen. If I get more summons and stuff down the weekend, I'll give it another shot. I am happy with that pull. Your boy Mortar Mike is enlightened. Not enlightened, I am happy. Wait, what faction is she? I need to know. I need to know. You see somebody else we just pulled. Cultist, of course she's cultist, duh. Um, I was, I was about to say, boy, she's esoteric. <laughs> My next review of a champion in this game is going to be Cyrus. I will make that video tomorrow for you guys. His kit is stupid. Just like, he, his kit has kits. He is insane. He literally has so much stuff in his kit um, that you really have to do a proper review of what he can do. Uh, I'm going to make that video for you guys tomorrow. I built him already. I'm satisfied with how he operates. I cannot wait to use him in the Mortal Codex, but this has been your boy Mortal Mike. I'm happy. I pulled an amazing champion I've been trying really hard to get. Can't ask for anything else. And apparently my kids are having a rough time out there, so I'm about to go and take care of them in the nicest of way with fruity pebbles and animal crackers. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. This has been more than Mike. Y'all have an awesome time. I'll see you next time. It's go time, but now it's time to go. Take care.